Cassie walks to the end of the pier. The wide brown river to her left, the wide bright blue sea to her right, and looks back at the city. She tries to imagine what it would have looked like in medieval times. She imagines a collection of small wooden buildings, a few fishing boats, a minor seaport sitting under the lee of a Norman castle, the lonely cries of seabirds on the breeze, the smell of fish. Now there's a collection of small wooden and corrugated iron sheds, a few fishing boats, a minor seaport sitting under the lee of the Meridian Tower, the lonely cries of seabirds on the breeze, and a funny pond, not fish, more like rotting seaweed, but the odour could almost be the same. Yes, on the crazy steep hills of the uplands you can often get a glimpse of the sea, but coming here to the end of this pier, and realising there are so few ships, so little traffic, and no ferry to Ireland, well, you suddenly realise that the sea is a barrier, not a symbol of freedom and escape. She turns to go, and as she does, she's dazzled by low, golden rays of sunshine. Her mood inexplicably lifts. Instead of feeling claustrophobic and trapped, she suddenly feels the openness and the quiet. Fresh sea air, sun and limitlessness.